say that Kenya won the World Cup. Really, this is not the World Cup of rugby. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> this was a leg in the series. Mm. But it is the first time Kenya is winning a leg in, 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 in the series. Mm. And I think we must congratulate them. Mm. Uh, in fact, today, if I wish the newspapers that was the only thing that we'd be talking about. I wish today we would uh, All the headlines. We, we, we would drop ICC and CORD and Jubilee and just talk about sports and the state of sports in this mm. country. Mm. But I also hope with this victory uh, that it will also help to uh, propel rugby beyond the middle class game that it is. Uh, those of us who went to some schools, uh, Ladana, uh, uh, Omar and I, these were schools that played rugby. In fact, rugby had been associated with certain schools. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that nowadays, if you look at the schools um, uh, sports events that uh, happened last week, uh, schools like Lenana and Nairobi School are no longer dominating. Mm. In fact, you get schools like Bungoma and Kakamega right. mm. are the ones that are now so dominating. It's, it's in getting down to the so it's, it's getting down to the grassroots. Mm. Uh, it needs to be a sport that is embraced by many. Finally, also <coughs> government interference in sports. If you look at what is happening in soccer, sometimes it's because of vested political interest and government interference in that sport that is uh, dwarfing the game. Mm -hmm. Rugby has been uh, self-regulating to a great extent. We've allowed rugby to thrive with uh, very minimal government interference. I think that is the way to go mm -hmm. for sports in this country.